All right, guys, now we're gonna go into the inside. Um, well, on the outside here, I just have uh, one Grimlock and uh, an extra D-ring, just in case I wanna attach anything else. Um, okay, so on the inside, I'll get to this in a second. Um, first of all, a lot of food. I've got a couple sides of vegetables, Mountain House, uh, and then a couple entrees. Um, uh, usually big two-person entrees. Uh, I've got another small entree here. So I've got a food enough for about two people for two days as far as right there. Um, and then back down here, hey kitten cat. Um, I've got two of the Daytrex Day uh, food bars uh, packages. So each of these is uh, 1,600 calories. Um, whisker biscuit uh, for the slingshot. You can turn it into a sling bow. Uh, just in case you end up somewhere where you absolutely have no f water whatsoever and have no access to water whatsoever, I just keep two of these pouches. Uh, I have more in my apartment just uh, in case the water is out. Um, again, usually trying to think of two people uh, just in case. I keep two uh, SOL emergency bivvies in there in case you just have no time to build a shelter or anything like that. You have these so you can just uh, you can crawl inside. Um, so, first little pelican case is just where I keep most of my tinder and uh, my lighters. I have another Zippo in here, I was using it earlier, but uh, just one big Jeep, uh, a bunch of little quick tinder pouches, and a bunch of stormproof matches, and then uh, usually a Zippo, uh, a traditional Zippo in there as well. Um, slingshot, full mess kit, um, had for a long time, uh, comes apart. But then I also keep in the mess kit, uh, I've got this whole cup here, the coffee cup is full of rice, extra napkins here, and then seasonings and condiments, sugar, stuff, stuff like that, on that boil pot. Uh, down here I've got uh, oatmeal and a couple of energy bars, and those get rotated out. Clothing. Uh, in the bag I keep one cotton t-shirt one pair of uh, warm thermal pants, two pairs of good wool socks, which are always, always a, necess a necessity, and then one big fleece camo mask, um, which can be really nice during the winter, or if for whatever reason you need to get totally uh, head to toe camoed, uh, it, can be, it can be very helpful. Then here I've got a jet boil system. Uh, I don't have a thing of fuel in here right now, but uh, I've got more in the mail. Uh, I just got this. I really, really like it actually. Uh, it's always nice to be able to boil water quickly. I think this is about 90 seconds. You can boil two cups of water. And then I've just got a small trapping kit. Um, here I've got a bunch of snare wire. Uh, I've got pre-made snares in the web gear that I just keep them in there in case I ever go out. And then just two big rat traps uh, just because they're really efficient traps. They take almost no energy to set whatsoever. And so if you're just one or two people out there, that can make a big difference. Uh, and then of course you can be setting all kinds of native snares and stuff. Oh, hey kid. Um, so here in this packet, I keep sort of um, like repair and growth kits. So this is a seed bank. And I'm not going to go through everything that I have in this seed bank. It's vacuum sealed and I've got about 25 different types of vegetables. Uh, 30 to 40 seeds each, so I could basically plant uh, a sustainable garden from that if I needed to. Uh, here, go to this real quick. One side is a fishing kit. Um, I am not a very good angler. I am not that experienced at it, and so this is sort of an overcompensation in kit because I know I'm not very good at fishing. I don't have much experience with it, and so I try to sort of overcompensate for that by having a pretty extensive tackle box right here. Um, all different kinds of lures, uh, you know, fly lures, everything. Oh, she shouldn't play with that. That's shit. Um, so on the other side though, I've got all kinds of little repair stuff. Uh, one thing that I've never seen people carry in their bug out bags that I think is uh, really important is having a little bit of extra webbing, um, extra buckles and extra ladders. Uh, you know, I've had a, a backpack break on me, and it's so annoying to have a backpack break in the field. So I always keep one or two extra buckles, extra webbing, and extra ladders. But it also comes in really handy if you just need to, you know, rig up anything to have these with you. It's an extra crossbow string and extra crossbow wingtips. Um, I also usually keep a couple extra arrowheads in here, as well as uh, slingshot and uh, BBs for, uh, for the 
gunshot dart, which I'll show you later. Um, in here, another five hour energy and utensils. Uh, so all kinds of just like comfort and living stuff. More tampons, condoms, which, you know, plenty of uses for those. Soap, uh, tissue paper, tied uh, bleach packets that you can use in just sort of like a tub or a bucket. You can wash your clothes, uh, which can be nice. And then finally, just like an extra little thing of um, napkins. And then here, which I tossed aside earlier, is a big, it's just an, it's all around toolkit. I've got all kinds of utilities in here. Um, notebook, signal mirror, post-it flags. Uh, this is a, a USB flash drive and on it is what I call my bug out binder. That's got maps. It's got, um, it's got, you know, medical, uh, medical handbooks, plant handbooks, uh, military handbooks, all the sort of information that I might want to, uh, I might want to access if, you know, shit went south. Pardon the language. Um, I've got, uh, an Expo pen because I've got a waterproof map cover, and then I can trace out my roots with the Expo marker. Uh, I've got a Sharpie, WD-40 pen, in case anything starts to get stuck. I've got a lot of automatic pencil lead for a small automatic pencil, extra erasers. I've got a small folding pair of scissors right here. Right here, I have extra X-Acto blades. Uh, I have a pocket tool on my keychain that uses an X-Acto blade. Um, this is like a tiny little flashlight, but it has a tripod. The handle is just a little tripod, and it's adjustable. So in case I need a light source, to see what I'm doing, and I can't hold it. Extra pen, a small round file. I've got a flat file on my Leatherman in my uh, web gear. Uh, on this side, I've got a uh, extending mechanics mirror so I can see around all kinds of corners. Uh, this is a, another Advil container, but it's actually full of nails. Um, the pommel of the next generation has a, is steel, so you can use it as a hammer. So in case you need to put anything together, you've got nails. Little P38 can opener, um, extra Zippo flints for both the classical Zippo that I have in the other kit, and then so that this thing has, I want this to have one fire ignition source of its own, so it's a standalone kit in case you need to give it to somebody. This is a Zippo Blue, it's windproof, so it's a, it's a gas butane lighter but with a Zippo flint. So even if you dunk it in water, you can just start a fire right away afterwards. Um, I love this lighter, but it does burn through fuel. Um, I've got more super glue here because this thing burns through fuel so quickly and because you can't exactly go to the fucking store, pardon, um, after whatever, uh, or if you're in the woods, I have a, a portable butane thing. I found this at a gas station for like $2. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, this is another thing of glue. It's a uh, gel glue, sort of like, um, uh, rubber cement, but that's for waterproofing stuff. You know, if you, if you have a tent or a hammock that springs a leak, uh, it gets torn, you can patch it together with that and it will still be waterproof. This is a folding lock pick set. It's got a tension wrench, five picks, and a rake. Um, it's pretty good. The one thing I'll say about it is if you need to use two picks at once, you're out of luck. And because of the weight of the handle, it makes it a little bit bumpy. So sometimes you can't feel the pins that well. Um, I'd like to get a better lock pick set for this set. Uh, you know, a little yardstick and then a sharpening system. Uh, and this has a, sh a rod so you can sharpen a serrated knife if you need to. Although, my none of the knives in this kit are serrated. Uh, I think that's about it. And a kitten. Oh, and I have one um, certified beaner that can hold up two elephants, just in case you do end up need to, doing, need to do some climbing. Uh, one thing I'm th really thinking about adding is actually two small pulleys, just so that, uh, you know, in case you have to lift something that you can't lift on your own. If you put together a pulley system, you might be able to manage it. Um, so, oh, and one thing I forgot. Uh, oh no, I forgot a lot. So in here, tea candles, more paper uh, with notepads. I got a lot of paper clips and stuff on there. Uh, duct tape camo bank, camouflage, face paint, just in case. Regular duct tape bank, and I believe last but not least, uh, one of my favorite items is uh, epoxy putty. So you can mix these two things together, form out whatever you need to make, and in about 24 hours it hardens. It's incredibly hard stuff. You can drill through it. You can carve on it. Uh, so anything that you need to fabricate, if a gear breaks or anything like that, you can fabricate more or less whatever you need out of this stuff so long as you're not in a huge rush for time. Um, very cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I think that about covers it. Thank you very much.